Fuck, that was loud. Good morning, party people. Yeah, I was just oh, so excited. All the energy. It's almost like you're about to get Sandy. Oh, I see what we did there. Today we're checking out our boy Chris Turner and his brand new single, Get Sandy. This is the official studio performance. Full transparency, I don't even know what Get Sandy means and I don't even know if using it in that context was right. Boom, yeah. old dude's trying to be cool. Get is Sandy cool? is like, you know, you... you Get ready, see... pumped up, ready to go. Like... No, shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> it's when, like, when I go cliff diving and I'm like, someone goes, send it! And you're oh, like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, Get Sandy. Like, Get yeah. Sandy, send it. Yeah, send it. Yeah. Do you remember back when you were a kid? Nope. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, there's a hair here. Oh, I got it. It's one, right, of the, one of your pubes from that giant ding dong on your head. <laughs> anyway, we love Chris. <laughs> Sick burn, bro. <laughs> God, you're the fucking worst. <laughs> Am I though? Oh, yeah, anyway, absolutely. We love Chris. Uh, Chris is a legend, insanely talented drummer. I'm so sorry, Chris, that he used the term ding dong <laughs> on your video. Uh, I could change it and make it a different word, but... I want people to know what a dickhead he is. Oh, okay. I was trying to not call you a dickhead. I'd prefer that. Oh, then a ding dong. A ding dong on your head. God. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for coming back. Why do you keep coming back? Like, subscribe. It's because we share great music with you guys. Yes. Chris, for those of you that don't know, is our boy. He's a drummer. This is off his solo album. This will be a one-take performance. So what you're about to see here, he will have done and is absolutely... He's a machine. Actual machine. He's a, we, we're still waiting on the results. Like, we do actually believe he's not human. He might be a ding-dong. We don't know. Let's go. <laughs> oh! Big head, Chris. Hard to find a spot to pause with Chris. But I believe he's wearing party socks. You're not a fan of party socks. I am. And I believe they're flamingos. He's wearing party socks under joggers, not with shorts. He's got no shoes on. Yeah, but if you put shoes on, you wouldn't really see the socks. You wear party socks with shorts as that's like part of your, your statement outfit. He and I has, personally don't like that. He has put these party socks on so people can see his feet partying on those double kick, kick pedals. I just want to know if they're flamingos, man. That's all I want to know. Keep your eye out. Pay attention. His feet are moving too fast. I love how he psychs himself up for the yeah. timing of when to come in. Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's when goes. Yes! Fuck yeah, Chris, get in that groove, brother. Cool little lead behind yeah. there. Look at 
Imagine that left hand, man. Oh, we're not done! Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> well, exactly right. Flamingo, fuck yourself. That was so good. That was wild. He's insanely talented. Like we've watched, like we've watched all of his videos now. Reacted to every one of his videos. Um, I've watched so many of his playthroughs. We've spoken to him so many times now. And it just still blows me away how insanely good he is. I'll never drums. get over it. I'll actually never get over it. I'll never, ever watch one of his and be like, hmm, yeah. Every time I just sit with this stupid smile on my face, kind of trying to comprehend yeah. the technical ability and the speed. And just like, you fell off your chair banging your head last week. <laughs> He's banging his whole body and just like effortlessly doing it. So it good. Insane. And it's like, I, I, I felt myself sitting there. I was like this, like, and forgot that I'm just sitting here like with my, and I'm like, oh, we're forming a reaction. Like it was one I don't the, care. You guys can watch that. That's way better than watching us. Yeah. That was so good. It's just so the good. The thing with his music as well is the fact that like it is just instrumentals. And we talked about it before that I'm not huge on just instrumentals a lot of the time. And I, they're just so captivating. I think the thing with him is he doesn't, like, his songs don't overstay their welcome as well. He gets in, does the job, and gets out. It's not like a seven-minute instrumental song. True, yeah, um, yeah, where they're just wailing for the sake of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, because, I mean, look, I love bands like Animals as Leaders. I think they're insanely talented. But yeah. I think, you know, an album of that overstays its welcome for me because I can't really just get in and vibe with everything that they do. It's like, yeah, they're very talented. But yeah, this I is agree. just... He also is really, really good at crafting these songs uh, to have memorable guitar riffs and moments in a song sense, which is really cool. It's not just about the drums. Yeah. I don't know whether he... Because he said last time he had someone get in and wrote the guitar lines on one of the songs. Um, doesn't say. Oh, guitar right, and bass. Composed additional composition by Dan McNeely and James Kennedy. Um, Guitar and bass played by Dan McNally. Cool. Dan McNally, uh, you are very good at those things. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I love that. What did you guys think of that? Um, we will be jumping on and having a chat with Chris in the next few days. To be honest, I've just been busy and we haven't organised it. We're busy boys. Yeah, but he's the best. And he's always just like, yeah, let me know when you want to chat. We'll jump on. So um, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, comment below, let us know your thoughts. Um, if that didn't blow your damn mind, well, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, 100%. Like, you, you're actually cooked. You're a ding-dong. See you guys next time. Peace.